So this is the backyard before the application. And like I mentioned in the previous videos, I am seeing signs of brown spots and dollar spots, especially towards the shed back here. So uh, definitely wanna take time to apply the uh, fungus control to see if we can get some of these uh, patches under control. So it's not terribly bad, but again, you know, you want to get ahead of this. As soon as you see signs of fungus, you want to make sure that you're treating that early and often. So this is the backyard. Um, again, like I said, it's about a little over 2,000 square feet. So yeah, we're just going to do this application and uh, see how it does. All right, so I just want to document some of what I'll be using to treat my back lawn for fungus, starting with the Bio Advance Fungus Control for Lawn. It says here on the label that it cures and prevent common lawn diseases, anything from brown patches, dollar spots, um, rust, summer patches. So again, um, I mentioned in my last video, as I was walking you through my back lawn, that I was I noticed that there were some signs of um, fungus. You know, there was dollar spots and little brown patches. And I even showed you the little web-like structure that's, that you can really only see in the early morning when there's dew on the grass. And that's usually an indication that you have some fungus activity going on. So I've generally used this BioAdvance. It, it usually works well. Um, I may try something else in the future, but what I've done here, this is actually a hose and sprayer, so it's ready to be used where you really just um, supposed to connect your hose to it and just spray it over the um, the lawn. So the application rate here is that this will treat up to 5,000 square feet. My back lawn is roughly about half that size, but in the instructions, if you are applying that at the highest application rate, that is perfectly fine to apply the entire bottle for um, 2,500 square feet. So that's gonna work perfect for me. Um, I mentioned that I'm not using the hose to uh, ap apply the, uh, the fungus control because I'm actually adding a little bit of supplement. Um, this is the liquid iron. You can purchase this from um, any supply store or I think even on Amazon. I actually think I got mine from, from Amazon. But basically what iron does is iron adds um, that green um, color to the lawn. So um, if you're ever noticing, maybe even in drought condition, your lawn is browning up and you just want to give it a little boost, the iron is, is a great supplement for that. Um, I'm also going to be using a little bit of this dye. So what this dye does is it, it's really not doing anything to the lawn per se, but it's a visual spray indicator. So, you know, whenever you're applying products to your lawn, you want to make sure that you're not over spraying in one particular area and that you have even coverage over the entire area that you're treating. It's very, very good and highly recommended that you use some type of spray indicator to show you. Um, and really all it's going to do as you are spraying the content, you're going to see that color come out. Uh, and not only out of the, uh, the sprayer, but you're going to see it on the lawn. So you're going to see exactly where you're spraying. That way you're getting a good, even coverage. Um, I picked up this Chapin back uh backpack sprayer it's a four gallon i picked it up from amazon i want to say it was like 60 bucks but really really good for doing applications like this or pre-emergent again that coupled with that dye indicator you really really can't beat that so i'm um, gonna we'll go ahead and mix all of this up i've already got my scale here and i use the scale really for the iron because the application rate for this iron is uh, one pint per 1,000 square feet. So, you know, that's the general rate 
or the recommended rate, but um, I usually use a little less than that, especially if I'm putting out some uh, malorganite since malorganite already has iron in it. But that's it, and I'll just go ahead and mix everything together. We'll put it in the uh, backpack sprayer, add water, fill it up to the four gallon mark. You know, we'll do the application and see how it goes. Right, so we was able to apply the fungus control from BioAdvance to the entire back lawn. Again, with a little bit of additional iron supplement for the color. And that's not what you're seeing actually, that blue tint that you're seeing on the lawn right now is definitely from the dye. Um, it will take a few hours for the uh, plant to, or the, the blades to absorb the, um, absorb the um, the iron supplement to start seeing the green the green up but yeah this is what it looks like and you know not so much worried about the green but what I'm gonna be looking for like I said last time is just for the uh, controlling the fungus so this area back here where I started seeing some brown patches um, mainly in the morning when I come out to examine I'm going to be checking to see if the uh, the fungus control is doing its work, if it's if it's kind of um, holding that back. But yeah, that's it for now. Just wanted to document this and show you how I applied the BioAdvance fungus control with a little bit of iron supplement for my Bermuda lawn in the backyard. And um, I'll try to do another update to show you how how it's progressing. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching.